Good morning, everybody. Welcome to school education. All right, let's get yeah. this started. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Rose. Good morning. So good I have morning. a question. You can ask me anything. Thank you so much. So you know a lot about BD and that community, yes. yeah? Okay, let me know. Yes. Just tell me. What's your knowledge? Just plop it on me. Boom. My knowledge? Okay. Yeah, knowledge. Uh, so I have been involved in the scene for like uh, more than five years, just shy of 10, I'd say maybe. Wow. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah. I have helped with classes uh, as far as like being a guinea pig and helping teaching them, uh, helping and assisting with running camps. Uh, helping with running play parties and events and uh, making sure that I can help other people learn and feel comfortable in those spaces. Mm. Holy. You know a lot. Yeah. Let's go. That's <laughs> huge. What? Yeah. Oh my it's, God. It's my, it's, it's my passion. This is going to be very educational and also very you know, as you yes. can read from the, the little the little board right there. So if you are <laughs> under 18, so you're just going to meander on out of this stream. We have many <laughs> questions today. We have, like, we've gone through, mods have gone through, placed a bunch of the questions on our little slides here. Okay, our little yes. slides, yeah. we got a lot yes. of questions today, okay? Can I get your alignment? What's your alignment, Rose? Oh, like D&D like alignment? Mm, no. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm chaotic evil. Oh my I god. Holy <laughs> Um, I would say, okay, I define myself as a bratty, submissive mm. masochist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, I kind of yeah, smell yeah. that on you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can smell it on you, you know? <gasps> I can smell you. <laughs> I can smell you. Yeah, no, no, it's really good. Anyways, nice to meet you. Wait, what about you? I want you to guess first. I think you, at, at the very least, paint yourself as a some some something in the the dom side of things but i don't know that i think you are exclusively dominant i feel like you probably like a little bit of i feel like you're more like experimentalist or versatile oh personally oh but i do think that like based on based on our interactions and based on like your content and based on things that i've seen and heard i i do feel like you probably lean more towards at least outwardly like the 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 like dom leading kind of side, but maybe a little bratty as well, but from like the top perspective. Do I have it written on my face? What was that? Why did you just read me? Oh, did I just read you? Yeah, yeah, like a I, I, book. Hello? Hello? All right, all I've right. I've told I'm good at reading people, what is, so that bro, doesn't surprise me. You're cooking. Yeah, I felt like I just got my soul read for filth. That was crazy. All right, first question. Yeah. Would you read it for me, please? What, what is, is a, a good sized piece? to use a below average dong i i, I want to preface this with i don't care how f big or small your d is you have a f mouth you know how to use it and if you don't you can f learn however uh i really don't think it's that simple to answer because mm. did you know that the depth of the is actually also very versatile so if someone has a like average to below average meat it might still be you know just on the same level as like uh you know a monster's right mm -hmm, so like mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily matter and i think that people worry way too much about this and i don't know what i would say a good size is i'm gonna be frank with you anytime i've been with someone who has a i do you think i get a like tape measure out and i'm like, <laughs> like hmm. man it appears to be just below the threshold of what i will allow in mine coochie i'm like, sorry <laughs> you have to go i can't do this anymore yeah yeah but as far as using a below average one mm. there, there's a lot you could do like let, let's say just hypothetically it is barely large enough to penetrate the barrier we'll say right sure uh there are still things like grinding and you know like dry humping and things of that nature that you could still do <sighs> and also you have hands you have fingers you have you can integrate toys into your activity and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can... There are a million options to make sure everyone is mutually pleasured. And if you, as the haver in that situation, do not feel satisfied, you know, your partner or partners also, I hope, have mouths or some other sort of, you know, <laughs> hands or something else to assist you with. Yeah. So, you know, I think that that's really kind of how I would uh, t uh, tackle this subject. And personally, I agree. I think like when you have it too big, Sometimes that can hurt, especially if they're excited, that can hurt. right? Yeah, if and if they like, pull in your like uterus and stuff like that, like, like ah! Ah! Oh. is being a virgin a turn off? How do I tell my partner? Do you want to answer first? Yeah, or do you want me to answer I do want to answer first. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not a turn off. Um, I prefer the side. Are you a cherry popper? Yes, I am. But here's I the thing. It. Yeah. Okay. It. 
VA for my name. What do you think it means, babe? What do you think VA means? Voice actress. No. No? Virgin something. Virgin. Virgin at, uh. Assaulter? Assassin. Assassin? No, no, I'm not going to assault them. I'm going to assass no, assassinate their I'm virginity. Assassin. Yes. Oh my god, you're going to assassinate <laughs> their virginities. Uh, no! Just the card, not them. So, okay, personally, I don't think it's a turn off. Um, I like the <clears> idea <throat> of someone being nervous and i like the idea of being able to help someone through their nerves and being very comforting and being like no it's okay like chill <laughs> when, I, when i hear cherry popper it can it sometimes rubs me the wrong way because it feels kind of like people are wearing that as like a belt of like yeah i did oh, look yeah. at me uh, you know yeah, some people look at it in like a predatory way but yes, i don't yes. think it necessarily is i think when you say it, you mean that you like the idea of being able to provide a positive first experience and mm. basically like show them what it can be like and like why it's you know, wonderful, mm. instead of it being more about like you getting another notch on your post, basically. Yes, yes, mm -mm. yes. So for the, how do you tell your partner? Uh, actually, in my opinion, I feel like until you get intimate, I feel like maybe, maybe like before, maybe before just be like, hey, you know, if this is something you're interested yeah. in, in pursuing a sexual rela relationship with me, I'm gonna need you to know that I would like to go slow because this is gonna be my yeah. first time and you know, it should be with someone mm -hmm. that you like a lot, you know? It should be, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's I your agree. opinion? Where is the G spot and clips? How do you find them? I explained this once to someone in a weird way okay. and they were like, Rose, what the f is wrong with you? And I was like, listen, so I overheard it when I was a youngin, okay? Yeah. So the way I was uh, taught to explain this to someone is you imagine looking at like from above looking at a boat and there's a little man on it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, there's a yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to draw it? <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm a better artist. You Thank you very it? much. Okay. There's a man at the at, at the top of the boat and he's he's rowing. He's he's rowing around. He's got his oars. He's he's going <laughs> oh, he dear oh, life. oars. Okay, he's got oars. Yeah, he's got, you know, he's got two oars and stuff, okay, right? Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you just got to, you know, Give give that guy a little you know a little a little rub on the head a little head pat a little, oh, little, little head you know pat. all that stuff yeah yeah you just gotta you just gotta give him some little give TLC because he's been working real hard rolling yeah. that boat how <laughs> forceful should you be patting his head uh I would start you know really gently uh slowly okay. low pressure and yeah. then like see how much he likes it and if he, if he really likes it you know you can be like oh okay oh well, jam okay yeah. I mean, maybe I'll rub a little more maybe I'll rub a little put a little more pressure mm -hmm. maybe I'll speed up a little yeah and then you know once you once you find a spot that he really likes and you, you kind of get that going you know eventually you'll you'll consistently do it at the same pace for long enough that you know he'll, he'll, he'll just conk out for a while and be happy and then you know you know you did your job well yeah he'll spray <laughs> you with his oars so they'll go yeah scrap. yeah he'll yeah, splash yeah. you with him just whoa whoa yeah. that's crazy <laughs> okay so that was the that was the chorus. where's the g <laughs> spot listen all you need is a hook baby all i you agree need is a hook Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. goes like this, and then it goes up, I think, yeah. and then and yeah, 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 and then it's like yeah, 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 yeah. right there. So you, yeah, you know, you, you got that the... little spongy yeah, bit. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. That feels kind of interesting. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna just do a little window wipe that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You go like, come here, come here. You know, just, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Hither. Yeah, come here. Come hither, but you misspelled it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then can a man come without ejaculation? Uh, yes, it's called a a. I think it's called a dry or. Yeah, it's yeah, dry. She's dry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't actually know how that feels for a guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that is as good comparatively or if it is any different or... Oh, someone in chat said it's painful. It's painful. It's a dud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, that sounds like like ruined or... Which is like... Yeah. That shit sucks. But I imagine yes. it's possible to do sometimes just... Just sometimes, you know, the body just malfunctions. That's what that happens all the time. It's I okay. wonder if hydration would play a part in that at all. Oh, probably does. 100%, right? Because, mm -hmm. like, some yeah, of you mother yeah. only drink gamer subs, by the way, using code. What's your code? What's your gamer code? Uh, using code Fluffy Tail. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm currently single, but I want to get better with my tongue slash mouth game. Mm -hmm. How can I get better at doing it without a partner? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I'm trying to think of like options because, okay. So in my mind, my, my in immediate thought is like, is there a toy that simulates like the vulva enough to be worth, 
using for practice. And then I think, you know, I don't know if that makes sense because you need to use the reactions of the other person in order to like decide if it works for them. And every everybody's body is different. So the is whole there chat, a way? they're like plums. Just kiss, just just get a plum. Dude. We're not newbie. <laughs> We're not newbie. <laughs> I feel like a good way to practice would be like genuinely a fruit. I'm not kidding. Cause like, I don't know. It might be. Yeah, like, okay, when we did um when we when we did a uh, acupuncture and we had to practice on different substances, <clears throat> the way we practiced was like orange peel, very very much so simulates yeah, like Yeah, because they're very like skin like Yes, yes, they are. And so yes. maybe like the inside of an orange, because it's very delicate. Like, you know those horny <clears throat> like cooking guys where they get a piece of meat and they like they finger that yeah, shit they're when like, they're trying to season it? Kinda hot, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But don't do that, because that's raw meat. Don't don't Cadbury egg <laughs> without breaking the shell. Okay. No, do not, do not use. Okay, well, I mean, if you're using your mouth on it, yeah, but uh, do not use anything with sugar down below because that's yeah. not good for you. Do not do that. Too many photos online of ladies trying to like jam lollipops in there, and they're just begging to get a yeast infection. Right. Sugar plus coochie equals uh, bread you don't want to make. Oh, you know, actually, I have one pet peeve okay. with this kind of thing. Okay. I do not like a, a firm pointed tongue. I prefer a yes. more flat yes. tip of the tongue. Oh, same. Using a pointed tongue is way too focused and it's like <laughs> yeah yeah too much mm -hmm. it's uh, like using a sniper you... rifle sorry yeah, sorry i don't want my coochie sniped bro <laughs> how do i get pegged by my girlfriend i already <laughs> talked with her about my wish but she is too shy and scared to do it uh okay you know before i read the second part i was just like all you gotta do is bend over babe but yeah like, literally, literally. Like, uh... <laughs> okay uh you should ask her is she too shy to do it or is it just not something she's into because i feel like a lot of people tend to say oh i'm too shy oh i'm not ready to do that when mm -hmm. what they really mean is i'm too i'm too uh timid to tell you that i'm not actually into that but i don't want to disappoint you mm -hmm. so for starters like clarify on that but assuming that she is actually genuinely interested you guys could go to you know courses about this kind of thing or you could look at you know anatomy stuff and learn about the anatomy of that kind of stuff together and then buy you know a toy and a harness together so that she has a harness that is comfortable and you have you know the insertable of your preference and you know size curvature shape etc curvature. <laughs> and then yeah listen you know the p-spot needs a little loving and if she's not into it if she's genuinely like after no it's not that i'm too shy it's just i'm not into it and i don't yeah, know if yeah. that would make me comfortable then you know what's <laughs> crazy you can go online to uh and get a nice little machine so that that can do yeah! it for you so you can get exactly. pounded up the ass and it'd be fantastic yeah! hygiene question around do you clean up after every round or do you keep going i like to eat out my partner whenever possible but when i creep them i'm not comfortable licking my own cup how can i help clean up Stop your Coward. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lucy, listen, listen. <sighs> if you can dump it, why the f can't you f have a little taste? Like, come on. That is so f hot. Eat your own cum. Stop being a coward. But no, okay, I get it. I get being but uncomfortable. But if you are genuinely uncomfortable with it, like, mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a way to completely, like, remove that. So bidet. you're probably gonna have to get used to it like a little bit. I mean a bidet, yeah. No, turkey yeah. baster that and like push on the bulb and then it'll go, <laughs> you know, it'll go. Like, <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't personally clean up after every round. I usually just keep Me going. I don't neither, give a fuck. No. Yeah, yeah, I don't give I, a fuck. I like getting a little sloppy personally. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like it takes it out. I, I feel like the mood kind of like gets killed a little if you're so focused on like cleanliness and like, yeah. like, yeah. oh, we gotta, we gotta clean up before we do round two, queen. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like it kind of takes you out of the mood and takes you out of like the atmosphere. And I'm, I'm just not about mm -hmm. it. Like, I, I wanna get freaky until I'm done being freaky, and then, and then after we're done being freaky, 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 we can go clean up. Like, sure, yeah, great. Based on your experience, who seems to have more fun or pleasure between circumcised and uncircumcised men? And do you have a preference? Ooh. Very good question. Do you want to go first? <sighs> I'm, I'm thinking. I think that... I don't know if I have a preference. Yeah. I think... I, I have experienced both, and I think both are very uh, interesting in their own ways. Hmm. Do I think one experiences more fun or pleasure, like, in a general sense? I feel like I have heard people say things but i don't know how true they are uh i haven't noticed a, 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 any real difference as far as like someone enjoying intimacy whether they are cut or uncut mm -hmm. uh 
but I have heard many times statements uh, online and stuff that having a little turtleneck can uh, make things a little more beneficial in oh. general for pleasure. Uh, however, Anonymous I do not know how true that is. Mm -hmm. And I think it's kind of hard to gauge how true it is unless someone got like circumcised as an adult or something and could gauge one versus the other. Mm -hmm. Because if you have, if you've been like cut your whole life, then you're not going to know what you're missing. And if you've been uncut your whole life, then you're not going to know what the the opposite is. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to really say. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I think you are less yeah, sensitive yeah. when circumcised. Because yeah, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of nerve endings in your... Your yes. hood. So of course, when you get your hoodie removed, you take the the hood off. It's it's gonna be yeah, interesting. Yeah. But yeah, again, again, I feel like you don't notice. You will never know. And so just just be happy with what you got. Yeah, I yeah. used to have a preference, honestly, because uh, I had only been with circumcised men, which is weird. I had that experience too. Yes. And then I had an uncircumcised man, and I was like, yeah. oh. This is like, like the same neat. thing, if yeah. not, like you just have to be a little more careful with, I think, yeah, with uh, the frenulum. And yeah, all that. yeah, with the frenulum. <laughs> I have trouble climaxing with my partner during intercourse, yet I have no trouble climaxing without her touch. Any advice for Ooh. what I can do to solve this problem? Oh, you are ready to I, go. All right, I go, know. go. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. You're wanking it too much. You're wanking it too hard. You're being too aggressive with your schmeat. And then, because you're gripping so hard and so you're going and going grip. and going and going and going, you need to loosen up, bro. Stop. You need to loosen up. Stop gooning. Yeah. <laughs> Put away your goon <laughs> towel, please. Yes. yes. And, and sometimes, <laughs> but not always, sometimes <sighs> I notice that the people who have this kind of issue also tend to use uh, visual or... Uh, uh, addiction, uh, just say it. Like, just say it. Yes, yes. <laughs> addiction, yes. I was going to say, some people have a... Addiction, and when you have a addiction, and you're looking at while you're by yourself, you are giving your brain all these like stimulants that you were, may not feel like you were getting when you were with your partner, yep. and therefore it's making you more prone to not orgasm. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you're kind of like <laughs> yourself, not even trying to say it that way, but you know what I mean. Hundred percent. Yeah. You know, leaving yourself in a situation where it's like now you can't enjoy the the real deal. Try and maintain your like. Either remove your, uh, you know, access for a while or mm -hmm. lessen it, whichever. I don't know what you need to do. I don't know how your situation is. Yeah. And when you do master, please, for the love of God, just take it slow, take it gentle, mm -hmm. like, but do not mm -hmm. death grip your shmeet. Do not beat it to death. Do not, like, <laughs> do it. Like, damn, it's, 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 what did it do to you? Like, relax, like, chill. <gasps> like, ooh. Okay. Can guys decrease or harm the amount he expels based on diet changes? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, I don't mm. know what increases the zinc. quantity. Zinc. Zinc. Zinc, zinc supplements. Oh, wait, yes. yes, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. You're <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, yeah, trust yeah. me, I tell I everybody. I reading a whole like page about that. And there was like visual examples from yeah. someone who was like, I want to actually test this. And I was like, holy Yeah. It, so yeah. Um, oh, it's Please, uh, please drink water. If you're yeah. noticing sh yes. clumpy, it shouldn't, babe, something's going wrong. You need to drink more water. Yes. Your seminal fluid should not be chunky, like super chunky. It should be a little liquidy. Yeah. It should be. Uh huh. Yeah. How can I get a girl to, to get s with me? <laughs> hey, let's get s, baby. Get s. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> honestly, like, just, like, okay, if you think that someone's interested in f***ing around, just, 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 just like, you know, and tell them. Be mm -hmm. like, hey, you wanna like go out? And then, you know, once you go out, you'd be like, hey, you wanna go home with me? And if they say, yeah, you'd be like, hey, you wanna like share a bed? Like, hey, you wanna like make out? Hey, you wanna do this? And just kinda, you know, see how far they're down to go. Yeah. And it is not catching one s please, no. It is. <laughs> <laughs> please, can I please have s please, will you please? Please, please have s I would love to have some so yes. How do I set boundaries for I never had it, but I know that I'm a huge pushover. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh. Listen, I know I, I as someone who's been a pushover a lot, I, I think you really just need to like even even if it means that it ends whatever is happening, you need to speak up because your needs are so 
fucking important. And yeah. if you're not enjoying it, you shouldn't be doing it anyway. And if someone doesn't respect your needs and isn't sitting there trying to work with you through whatever it is, and like, it, it should always be you versus you both versus the, the issue at hand. Mm -hmm. It should never be you versus them. And yeah. if they're fighting you on it, it means that they don't respect your like boundaries or consent or any of that. And I wouldn't want to you know, be intimate with that person anyway. So it's okay to say you don't want these things and it's okay to like push through, but like just you need to like push through even if it's scary and even if you're a pushover, just start practicing to advocate in day-to-day -day life and it will carry over into everything else. How long uh, should a guy how last? How long should a guy last? Ooh. Uh, ooh, uh, I mean, I don't really think it matters because you can supplement with foreplay, like depending. Yeah. So whatever. Like I, I don't think there's any should. A lot of these questions are how long should things happen? How big should things be? There is no should. No should. should. It's just the. It's just, it's just who you are and how you are. Like who cares? What the hell? You Damn. Really relax. How do I know it's condom fits my size? Okay, so in in the like U.S. I believe, and I think Canada as well. Mm. Uh, there's not a lot of size options for people. No. And it's kind of. The, you should what I would recommend is maybe getting like a variety pack yeah and just being like I'm gonna test these bitches out and just see which one feels best for you <laughs> yeah. how do I communicate with my <laughs> new partner she's not <laughs> she's not as great as she breaks in bed without hurting her feelings she's a little pillow princess wait who is why is bow there that's crazy that you put because bow there bow with pillow princess that's so crazy <laughs> There's no way that you put bow there. I've never heard of her being a pillow friend. Anyways. Um, thanks, mods, for putting this up there. Thanks, mods. Good job. Uh, <laughs> that's so cute. Um, okay. So if you You don't partner, have to say it straight out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you could tease them. Like, I was going to say, if, if yeah. they're like a little brat, you could be like, oh, that's so cute. Like, hearing you moan yeah, off. Yeah. Uh, just like antagonize them. Just be like, that'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see what you got, baby. Oh, what's the matter? Yeah, yeah. You don't Why don't you show me what you fucking got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There morning, huh? yeah fucking mm -hmm. come and take a bite, huh? Ooh. Yeah, ooh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, come take a bite. I like that. I like that yeah. one. That's good. That's good. <laughs> what a question to end off here. Thank you, Plunderer of yeah. Spuds. Very good. Okay, well, Rose, thank you so much for joining me today. I, yeah, we're having a lot of issues here. We're going to, okay, wow. There's a lot going on.